Jack Grealish completes his medical to a team which goes by the means of Man City. Remember the news broke yesterday around around 19 hours in there that a man who goes by the names of Jack Grealish had completed his move to a team which goes by the names of 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 Man City and the medical was pending in there. We came through and did that story in there and you guys watched it in I know but all in all it looks good that he has finally gotten his dream move in there because he has broken a transfer record in there of Paul Billy Pegba of 93.5 million pounds from Juventus as he joined Manchester United because he left on a free transfer in 2013 and he joined a team which goes by names of Man Manchester United in 2016 at 93.5 that means the lad has broken it in there and he is the what how can i term it it's the biggest deal ever to happen into the history of the premier league in there no deal has happened better than that of jack Grealish in there so to me i feel like it's good for man city because they are getting themselves a quality player in the names of jack Grealish being at Aston Villa for the last 19 years. Remember, he joined Aston Villa when he was six in there and he was in the academy in there and he didn't need for to play for a team which goes by names of Aston Villa until now when the deal has been struck as Aston Villa really felt like they had a buyout clause for him because he renewed his contract. I remember I remember towards towards that season when the do you remember the pandemic when the break was over and the Premier League was done and Aston Villa was never relegated, he renewed his contract and he put out a buyout clause of 100 million pounds in there. Aston Villa thought that no team, because we're into the COVID, COVID, COVID market, no team would come through and really get that money and put it on the table to get in Jack Grealish. But guess what? It has happened in there. But United had a very big chance to sign Jack Grealish in 2020. 20, in the 2020 summer, after he had really left with just a few years but Aston Villa told Man United we won 60 million pounds in there and United went in for Danny Van Bink who was at 40 million pounds in there from Ajax in there so that is Jack Rich journey at, at a team which goes as Aston Villa in there he comes at Man City and brings in a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of skill in there a lot of work rate in there but I'm only worried about whether he will contain the pressure because the money put on him is really huge. A hundred million pounds coming at Man City each and every time it really does something that is not expected to come out of what he's supposed to be doing. He will really come. He will really be criticized in there. Jack Willish has played, has made 185 appearances for a team which goes by names of Aston Villa and he scored 29 goals in there. So let's wait and see what comes up when he really comes through to play for a team which goes by the names of Man City in there. But remember, Jack Willish, there are funny things that we never knew about him. He is an Irish and he played for Ireland under 20, under 17, under 18 and under 21s and then he played for England under 21. That's when he really came through and changed his citizenship in there. And then later he plus he has played for he has played 12 games for the English national team and he has not yet scored a goal for the English national team in there. Well much remembered into the Euros. And he has been putting on chart number 10 at a team which goes by the names of at a team which goes by the names of man at the names of Aston Villa and we don't know which shot number is going to be given in there because Aguero I think shot number 10 is black because Aguero was putting on shot number 10 in there and when you look at the news they are saying that they are going to give shot number 10 to a man who goes by the name of Jack Grish. And there is no way you cannot deny a player you've bought a hundred million pounds his favorite shot number, which is shot number 10. It was previously put on by Kun Aguero, and Kun Aguero left Man City and went to a team which goes by the names of a team which goes by the names of Barcelona in there, and that's where he is. I've not yet seen him future into the preseason friendlies, but I know he's really going to come through. And there is another story I'm coming back from Barcelona. I'm going to bring it here. It looks like Messi really tricked Barcelona, let his contract run down, and now he has told them that I'm not signing a new contract with you because you have not shown me any seriousness. This is the transfer market, and your financial your financial muscle is reducing each and every other day that comes on in there. So that's another story. That is A or B, but it's coming up on this story. I think we're even going to do a live video onto that story because it looks very, very, very surprising. What Messi is going to be called a Judas Iscariot for those that believe in Jesus Christ. Remember that man that really betrayed Jesus Christ and really went and sold him. We are there 30 pieces of silver in there. So Barcelona fans will really see Messi as a hypocrite in there because he really 
gave them high promises. We thought that he was going to sign the contract today, but all in vain. He says, no, I'm not signing because your financial muscle is still lacking. So, after completing the medical, there is some good story in here that Fabrizio Romano has really came out and said. You see that photo in there? That was Jack Grealish as he jetted into the morning to do the medical, to complete his medical team, which goes by names of Man City. You see him behind in there. It was faint in there, but he was driven to... to, to 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 it's the academy there is academy of man city where they really do their medicals from and he really came through and did the needful and did the medical he passed the medical and now as we speak jack Grealish is going to be unveiled as a man city player anytime from now but the man himself who goes by names of fabrizio romano has come out with something in there the last i think is it two hours he can he came out and said jack Grealish has signed his contract until june 2026 he's gonna be announced as a new man city player player for 100 million pounds from Aston Villa. Paperwork signed yesterday evening behind the two clubs, between the two clubs. Pep Guardiola has already spoken directly with Jack Willish. Here we go, confirmed in there. So you guys now know what it means when Fabrizio really says something in there. Fabrizio has never missed out on anything. He has never missed out on anything. That is Fabrizio in there for you because it looks like he is the real deal in there. And he has brought us this news of a man who goes by name of Jack Willish in there. He made a decision and has been accepted by the management, management of Villa, accepted it, and they really sold him off. In there, Jack Willish is a Villa Academy graduate and has made over 200 appearances, I've told you, and scored 32 goals for team which goes by the names of... of Aston Villa in there. Villa did offer Grealish a new contract, improved contract earlier this summer, despite him signing a five-year deal last 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 September in there because they knew he was really being being wanted by very many teams. He was offered a new contract and an improvement in there, and they wish they were going to give him close to two hundred thousand pounds a week in there because Aston Villa is owned by two billionaires in there, but. All in all, the bid came in, and you cannot turn down a bid like this. However much you like a team which goes on Aston Villa, but Aston Villa won't really, won't really get you anywhere. But this is something that is a positive to a team which goes by names of the England national team. Because now we look at Man City, it's having a crop of very many English players and their first starters in there. Look, there is a player called Kyle Walker, John Stones, Sterling. Phil Foden, you add on Jack Grealish, and if at all they manage to bring in Harry Kane, those would be six players, and I think this is going to be a very, a very good, good, good transformation and good news to a man who goes by names of Gary Southgate, because when you have close to six players of your national team playing under the same team, that means you are really entitled to success. Remember Barcelona in there, Spain really achieved its success of the World Cup and Euros in there, because they had close to eight starters into the lineup of Spain. Barcelona had Victor Valdez, though Ica Casillas used to start in there. They had Carlos Puyo. They had, they even bought in Jordi Alba, <laughs> the Gerard Pique, Basquets in there. They had David Villa. They had another player who went by the names of Iniesta, Xavi. So they had close to eight players in there that were starting into Barcelona and they made up the Spanish national team. And you saw Spain really being, or be winning everything winning everything on the world level in there. So I think it's good news for England, and England would like to see Harry Kane join a team which goes by the names of Man City too. And if at all it was possible, and the FA could really finance this more for Harry Kane, it would. Because as we head into the World Cup, this is something that sounds good for a team which goes by the names of England. Because having reached the Euro finales, Meaning that even the World Cup, they can reach the World Cup finals because most of the deadly teams and strongest teams are in Europe in there. And England showed us a muscle that he can really overcome them. Now, if at all Jack British gets a very good combination with Sterling and Harry Kane, if at all Harry Kane joins them, it shows you that that is going to be a very good, good, good foundation for a team which goes by names of Man City because there is even full Phil Foden in there. So that means Man City for the very first time ever since Pep Guardiola came on, can be having close to six English players into his starting lineup. As in Wenger coming out and think that English players are not really good, but they are just they are just expensive in there. A lot of money is being put on them, but they are not really good. That's what Asen Wenger said. But I think that was way back because right now I'm seeing the crop of players that the English academies are producing, especially the English players. They are really good. Look at Madison. Very good. Harry Maguire, looking great. Look sure, great player. Look at um, Race James, Mason Mount. 
Harry Kane, look at the generational talent, Mason Greenwood, oh my god. England is destined to a very, very good next 10 years in there. They look like they're going to dominate the game of football in there because if I told Pep Guardiola is now attracted to the English players, it shows you how much they've improved. Remember, sometimes it was hard to see an English player play for a team which goes by names of, of Man City ever since Pep came in. I think the most consistent one has been Sterling in there. Joe Hart came in, he really took him away. Mm who else he brought in Kyle Walker John Stones those are just inclusions that he really brought in because of their talent but all in all Jack Grealish has passed his medical of Man City and any time from now expect Man City to unveil him as a player Pep Guardiola wanted him even to feature into the game against Leicester City into the community shield I don't know what's going, where it's going to happen but I think it's going to happen because he has been he had started off with his preseason in there with Aston Villa and I know his feet in there and today is Thursday and Friday and on Saturday it's the Community Shield match in there. Let's wait and see whether he features in there because Pep Guardiola has even already talked about him. He's talking there in talks and he knows he wants him fit for the game against a team which goes away in Leicester. Let's wait and see. That game is going to come back here. We are going to do the preview. Thank you much for thank you very much for watching the Football News Top 10s and Lifestyle Zone. This is Rokan David aka Aradio to this channel feel free to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in it down a day someone ask himself or herself how do i subscribe to this channel this is how you do it look on your right lower bottom corner there is the subscription button it's red in color click on it after clicking on it hit the notification bell after hitting on the notification bell do the following click all such that you get all the notifications you the notifications when we get or upload a video onto this channel thank you guys for watching in welcome jack grealish us who support manchester united feel like he was supposed to be ours last summer and our body we ruined this transfer in there though the only thing that came through is really is a good a good player and he needs some playing time in there and i think he's ready for the premier league for those that support arsenal and man united it shows you how people do these deals man city made a bid last friday and this friday thursday Within a space of six days, the deal is done and dusted, and Jack Grealish is a Man City player. Thank you guys for watching in. I'm out for now. Your reactions are welcome to the comment section below. Tell me what you think about Jack Grealish joining a team which goes by the names of Man City. I'm RD. I'm out for now. See you later.